But um, Bayonetta is a character he does know quite well. Hey baby, you saw me that grin? And we're off, and we're off to the races, boys. Lucario versus Bayonetta. Lucario is one of those characters that, in this instance, if he gets carried, if he could DI correctly and stay alive, gather that rage, gather that aura, it's, it's one of those things just catching out a, a mistake from uh, Locus. Do we have. Come on in, man. The fire is hot. No. Sorry, wrong game. That's Hearthstone. Yeah. <laughs> well, some Todd, either way. This room is like 30 degrees. Oh, it's, it's cooking. We have, we, have, we have quite the audience here. Oh, yeah. Anyways, anyway, so what's your name, my friend? Uh, my name is... Uh, my tag is Accents. Uh, people might know me as Riley Noble. Yeah, I'm little Alberta. I'll play you. Uh, that'll be C first oh, round. Oh, really? Oh, oh damn. Let's go. Let's All go. Right. I'm surprised that Jams is opting for Lucario in this matchup, considering that uh, he, usually goes, he usually goes Rob, and he usually only goes Lucario for matches where he deems them like really, really difficult for his main character. Yeah, I mean, so. in, this, in this particular instance, I can see why he might want to pick Lucario. If he could DI correctly and survive, it takes one good, one good combo, one good uh, set of attacks, and he can just murder Bayonetta early. That's true, but, yeah. But I'm not sure if he knew that uh, Locus was going to go Bayonetta beforehand. Um, but. almost every single match, um, except the very first one, where he went Charizard, he's gone Bayonetta. He's, okay. He hasn't taken Ryu once. Okay. See, that's oh. what I mean. Yeah. One good catch. Easy trade. And now he's in a really good position to take this stock in three hits. And exactly. One forward tilt, 14%, and he's wait. Excellent use of wave bounce. Yeah, he's got... He, James is really technically sound. Or Jams, Jams. Uh, <laughs> James, Jams. I mean, close enough, close it enough. is his name. Is. Speaking of mains... Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's your mouth. Uh, yeah. Tricky offstage position for Lucario here. Well, in this yes. case, Lucario is so much, um, as long as he can stay alive, he's fine. Oh yeah, he's got the distance down for sure, and if he can snap to ledge, he doesn't really have a problem, but Bayonetta can just tack on a lot of damage for free. Yeah, Lucario that's does. fine, because Lucario just can get gets sure enough, up. Yeah, good point. He's going to get back eventually. It benefits and hurts, because then it hurts the margin of error you normally have. Yeah, true enough. Because if you make a mistake recovering the stage, then I can see. But the normal uh, modus operandi for Bayonetta to take you off stage on the side or take you off stage up top yeah. is not as effective. True because enough, in this yeah. case, it's just going to rack up easy percent for, um, what is it called, Lucario to beat you with. Yep. As long as he doesn't miss the DI on these kill combo. Oh, well. As no. you were saying? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, as you were saying? As long as he doesn't miss the DI on those combos, then he's going to be in a really good position against Bayonetta. But, uh, Bayonetta can do Bayonetta things every now and again. Yes, Sakurai, please. Yeah. Sakurai, please. Sure enough, yeah. Fix uh, this, it hurts. I mean, Smash Switch coming out soon. I'm actually... Do the leaks? What is it called? I'm, I'm one of those poor, poor kids who had his, uh, his Wii U break. Oh, so really? Oh, I've been okay. playing on my 3DS. I'm waiting for a Switch to release oh, so I can actually have, oh get an excuse to go buy a console. Yeah, that would be... That seems like it'd be helpful. Yeah, I, uh... Yeah, cause $200 for a Wii U, no thank yeah, you. It's rough. I just went and bought a used one for 150 But, uh... This is the Locust Charizard, which I saw in my set with him, and... I was... I was Were you the one who chose the him? No. Uh... No. Uh... He went Charizard in our set, and... It, it didn't go so well for him, I guess. But, Wait, but, uh, I'll, I'll tell you my main anyways, but who are you going as? Oh, I was Fox. I was Fox. And uh, I'm, I w for a second, I was confused because I thought that James had gone Charizard. Because he has gone Charizard in a couple games, or like one or two games, where he just didn't really have any other options. And it just has randomly gone really well, so I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened there. I, that was an interesting. Jams had a pretty free punish on that one and just got gyroed by it. The, the one that focus and pick up and throw. Rock Smash is... The thing is, it's like in this instance, it's like... Jams is an excellent player, but one thing I've, I've noticed in him is that when he gets nervous... Ooh! That was close! Yeah, that was really close. Uh, I mean, he plays well, but he starts regressing back to very specific habits. Yeah. Um, when, I, when I was commenting with Dino earlier, he was really keen on picking that up. I, mean, I think he's just really good at doing that in general. Yeah. I mean, he's a little Mac main, he has to. Okay. But he's... Where it's like, for example, you throw his gyro and you'll start rolling. Yeah. Constant laser. Jams is a rolly guy, but it, he does it in such a way Ooh. that it seems. Oh, that was really nice, actually. That was a great compare. That was. Yeah, Jams is the type of person that'll roll a lot, but he does it in a smart way where you can know that you know he's gonna do it, but you just can't hit him for it. Like, and 
he knows that a time is so he's not gonna get punished hard for it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, every now and again there'll be a player that can punish it, obviously, but yeah. it's just you just use matchups. Really like for example, yeah, sure. like if he's if you're playing against Sheik, he can't be doing that. Yeah, exactly. Between needles and the mobility, ooh, Loke's trying to return the trying to what is it called? Yeah. Oh, dunk, dunk jam. Yeah. Like you tried earlier. Uh man, I don't know. I. I must have blanked out for a second there because I thought that Locus was pretty, pretty heavily in the in the lead there. But oh, not at all. Uh, not not is not. Because not, yeah. the thing is, for some reason, he's so fixated on using down air as an, as a landing option, which is far from optimal. Yeah. Oh, that would have killed. That would. Oh wow. Ooh. We live it. <laughs> <laughs> he's limited again. Oh, he's limited again. One forty one. It's not that strong. We can DI it. Okay, if you miss it, then. I thought it was gonna stale at that point. No. It, well, he probably could have lived it there too, but he missed the DI in the last one. So yeah, that, I mean, maybe, maybe. maybe I beep, mean, beep boop. I've been hit by the boop portion of the beep enough times by jams to know that that wasn't really the angle that you should be going at if you get it perfectly. But he, he probably would have died anyway. Now the question is, are they going to stick with these two, or are they going to re regress the bayonetta? Um, sorry, memory blank. Bayonetta and. Uh, I'm up. expecting to see Bayo again, most likely, but I'm not sure if I'm going to see Rob uh, Lucario again. Yeah, there you go. So this is an interesting matchup because usually Rob, from what I understand, relies on being able to just spam projectiles yeah. and uh, just abuse your opponent until you have to start throwing them and beep booping them. Yeah. It's, uh, but Bayonetta doesn't give you that space. She is uh, in your face. Yeah, being able to witch time those kind of things, dude, don't really help. Oh, not at all. But, uh, Ang angry dominatrix woman, please. Yeah. Uh, well, from Jam's point of view, this is basically just slightly easier ZSS, who he has to deal with on a daily basis by everybody. Would you really say it's easier? I mean... The ZSS, uh, even, I don't though, know. even though ZSS grab isn't bad, the, the fact that it's a ranged tether grab makes it a bit harder to um, abuse, if you will. Yeah. Whereas yeah. Locus is able to grab, I think, a little bit easier than as a Bayonetta than CSS in general. It's just, it's just the classic uh, Rob just played CSS. I'm not sure if it's any worse. It just, ooh, ooh, that was nice. I thought he was gonna combo into the gyro. That would have been nutty. Would have done like five extra percent, probably not killed. Just a little bit off on the throw, but I mean, you can't really blame him for that. You have to, oh, you have yeah. to, you have to predict that like a oh, good yeah, few seconds in advance. Sure. Oh, that's good. Ooh. Yeah, you can't get out of that one, especially for Rob. But needless to say, though, Jams is playing excellently in the Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's definitely got this in pretty even still. And oh, Ooh, close. That gyro trap is absolutely deadly. I, a tough thing against Bayonetta is that a lot of Jams' advantage state comes from trapping you at the ledge with the gyro. But mm. Bayo can kind of just make that irrelevant. The, uh, she makes so stage. many things irrelevant. She kind of does, yeah. It's rough. Like, Sakurai, please. Yeah. Uh, or at least, re at least release ice climbers. It's like a hard counter. Oh yeah, you Jeez. might. Yeah, if that's how they fix brawl. So just add ice climbers there to get a even slash oh, good matchup. But excellent use of pivots for the yeah. gyro, and also down tilt too. Yeah, Jams. Like um, Jams doing an excellent job diversifying his portfolio of attacks. Oh and yeah, options. absolutely diversifying his wand. Which is paying dividends. Oh yes, absolutely. Assuming he doesn't die here. Uh, no, he's got to get the he's got the SDI. Ooh, oh, that was that would be gross. Please, chance. I'm not sure. I believe. <laughs> I'm not sure if he real if they realize that this is best of three still. They probably do, but that was a little bit ham. You know I mean, like, you got, you got, they can go to losers though. This is oh yeah, you, you have a bit of leeway here for sure, especially when you got. Mates. Ooh, that was nice. That was an excellent. There you read. Go. That was a great raid. The Locus going to losers. Locus going to losers with his Bayo and Charizard. What does our world come to? Yeah, somebody Absolutely. toppling the regime but of I mean, the abusive Charizard and Bayonetta. Now my question is, is Locus going to start 